This week, Google had their I.O. conference in San Francisco. Now, this is where they, they launched their new products. Over the last couple of years, it's almost bewildering the number of different products they've launched from Google Play to Google Plus, Google Drive, Google Goggles, Google Now, Google Glass. I mean, what do they all do? And on top of that, they just bought, well, a couple of years back, they bought Motorola. So they're moving into hardware. So they produce smartphones, they produce tablets, they produce laptops in the form of Chromebooks. They also do two parallel operating systems. So they, for smartphones, they have Android, and then they have Chrome for these, uh, these laptops and for cloud computing. And they license those out to third parties like Samsung and other electronics manufacturers. So it's difficult to keep track of what's going on. This year, their keynote speech had some real key things in it um, that helped to simplify things. And I'm just going to share some of those and some of the services that I think are most exciting. This time last year, they had launched Google Glass and they did that to great fanfare. Now, Google Glass allows you to get access to the internet and it has a head-up display so you can wear glasses and receive information, take videos and images, stream them. And what they did was they had a guy in a plane 5,000 feet above the auditorium and they cut to him wearing the glasses and he jumped out, plummeted down 5,000 feet, pulled his parachute, landed on the top of the building, got on a BMX, did some stunts, uh, pulled a wheelie, abseiled down the side of the building, jumped over a puddle, did a forward roll, came into the auditorium and then presented the glasses and everyone was mightily impressed. But this year, it was very low key, it was aimed at developers, and it was also aimed at Apple. So they have three key services that are really targeting Apple. The first is Google Play. Google Play really is iTunes. It's aimed at, you know, for music downloads, and there's an educational arm as well, which is quite smart strategically. The next service is Google Now. Now, Google Now is like a personal assistant, and it's targeted at Siri. So it's voice activated and they call it an intelligent personal assistant. So it will actually preempt information that you might find useful. It will present it to you before you even ask for it. So if it detects you're perhaps on the way to an airport and it, it's recorded, you know, when your flight is, it will perhaps pull up your boarding pass or check what gate you need to go to and present that information to you uh, before you've asked for it. Final service is Google Hangout. And Google Hangout is really FaceTime. It's just a very simple video conferencing uh, tool to enable you to talk to people. So you can imagine how these three services might be put onto the Google Glass and simplified. You have this one product with all these different services linked in. So a really smart piece of tech. Another smart piece of tech not to be left out. The Head Squeeze guys have come up with a clever way that you can now subscribe within the video so there'll be a button they say within the video so if i hold up my hand you can subscribe by clicking on my hand apparently i don't know whether you can move but i'm going to try it so maybe maybe you have to chase my hand around to subscribe or uh you have to subscribe by clicking on my eye there you go okay that might work i don't know but you can imagine how Google Glasses would work, you can imagine how well that, that would work. The only issue that people have flagged up about them is privacy. Now at the moment it's quite obvious, they're quite conspicuous, they look quite odd. But Google are moving down the line of incorporating them with conventional glasses, in which case you might not be able to tell when somebody's videoing you. And that's a concern because the data would be streamed live or the data would actually be in Google's possession. So you can imagine all kinds of complications with that. But, you know, they're, they're launching it and they're ploughing ahead with it. And in fact, it will be launched in the UK at the end of 2013. So you may well start to see pairs in the UK coming to a high street near you soon.